Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. This is AutoIt Basic Concepts Tutorial Part 2. In this tutorial session, we are going to focus on the loops available in AutoIt script. So the agenda is very clear. So first we will see how many types of loops available here. Let's begin. So I will show you how many types of loops available and how we can write the syntax for them. So here we have the list of loops. The first one is very common which is while loop and the second one is do until. As you have seen the do while loop in the other program languages but here in this auto it scripting we have do until loop in place of do while. The working is exactly same. And the third one is the common loop which is for loop. And one thing I want to tell you here the syntax is little bit different for these loops in auto it script writing as compared to other programming languages. And in this tutorial session we will focus on the syntax as well as we will do some practical session and we will understand the working of these loops. Let's begin with the first loop. So here I have noted down and I have written a sample uh, small script code to test these loops and we will understand the how to write the while loop. So the first uh, at this place you can see the while loop syntax. So the beginning of uh, the uh, while loop starts this way you need to use the while keyword after that you need the condition for this while loop as you have seen in the other programming languages while counter is less than or equal to 5 so our counter is initialized with the zero value and we are incrementing this counter up to 5 till then this will loop will execute once our counter will reach at 5 our while loop will exit now you will see inside this we have these two statements the first one I have used to display the counter value in the second statement we just incrementing the counter value by one you can see the message box has three parameters the third parameter is the counter value which we are trying to display on this message box and this is the simple one counter is equal to counter plus one so at this line we are just incrementing the counter by one and uh, then the closing of the while loop is important and you have to use this keyword w end to close the while loop this is the starting of the while loop and this is the closing of the while loop after so this is the complete syntax for the while loop I hope this is clear now the same code I'm going to run inside the auto script editor let me open the editor first so I have just opened here and this is the saved auto it script dot au3 file and I'm going to paste that code here so we will see the working of this while loop here now this uh, message box will be uh, displayed uh, six times because we have started our counter from zero and this is reaching up to the five now I just saved that script going to run it through the auto script run utility and I just selected here the script and click open and you will see the message box so now the value of the counter is zero so the message box appeared for one once you click on the ok the while loop will be executed the second time and now the printed value is one and the same way we are keep going and this is printing the incremented counter value on this message box now this is reached to the 5 which is the end condition of this while loop now the while loop is exit so this is the uh, syntax for the while loop and this way this while loop works here in the auto it script I hope this while loop is clear to you and you can easily use in your script writing now guys we are going to understand about the two while loops 
but that syntax is here do until the two keywords we are going to use the first is do and in place of while we need to use the until keyword okay so we will understand the declaration and the syntax of this do until very simple uh, so first I have just declared one counter variable initialized with 0 and after that I have one another variable which I have initialized with the 10. So I will cre keep printing this uh, value on the message box and uh, in the next statement I will increase the counter by 1. When my counter will reach up to 10 then my do while loop will exit or you can say your do until loop will exit so write the keyword do then give your statements here in my case I'm simply printing uh, via this message box after that we you increasing the counter value by one and at the last until keyword after that the condition on which our do until loop will exit that's all it's very simple and straightforward now here the counter is equal to 1. So I am saying that please exit this loop when counter is equal to 10. This is do the, uh, the statements after that the until and the condition to exit from the loop. That's all. Okay now I will copy this and I will go to the script editor and here I will run it. So you will see what is happening here. So we will see this message box at least 11 times. Here we go. So selected the script run a utility and script selected and we got the message on the box. This is 10, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10. When the counter is reached to the 10, our do until loop exit. This is very simple. I hope this do until loop is clear to you. Okay, fine. Now we are going to understand about the use of for loop and we will understand how to declare it and what are the important conditions in for loop. Before going to understand the syntax, I'm going to tell you one important thing. Here in this for loop, we don't need to increment our counter variable by one. This is handled by automatically and I will show you inside the code. So here very small uh, uh, syntax for the for loop is written in this notepad. Please focus here. So you can see here the declaration of for loop. So we don't need to increment the counter as we have in, uh, incremented in the do while loop and while loop. So the syntax is very simple starting with the for keyword okay then you have to give the condition how many times you want to run your for loop so i'm using this variable and giving this way one to ten that means i want to run my for loop ten times also you have the facility you have a feature you can do it this way as well 9 to 10 that means your loop will start from a counter value 9 and this will run up to 10 two times now if you change it to 5 then it will run from 5 to 10 if you will change this from 1 to 10 this will run up to 1 up to 10 times and the message box is just for here to understand uh, incrementing counter value display and after at the last thing that uh, uh, for loop syntax is next keyword if you are not putting the next keyword then the for loop syntax will be incomplete so the next is the thing which is incrementing the counter value automatically okay now i'm going to run this script uh, via script editor and there we will see the behavior of this for loop okay just copied and going to here in this auto it script editor and just pasted here okay so as you can see we don't have uh, used the counter incrementation manually and this is happening through the next keyword 
now going to run the auto edit script here we go just select it and check this one so the counter is started from one now the counter value is one when you click the ok then the counter value will be increased and it becomes two and so on three four five six seven eight nine and ten once counter value reach to the 10 and the loop will exit so this is the uh, declaration of for loop and the, we have seen the behavior here while running so guys this for loop uh, use is very simple uh, these are three loops type available here in auto script for use while do until and the for loop i hope you guys have clear understanding on these uh, loops and how to use it if you found this tutorial relevant and use, useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and guys i hope to see you there in the tutorial part 3 there we will discuss some more basic concepts of auto it script writing till then bye bye